Hi there, today we're going to talk about an English artist. His name is Julian Opie. He was born in Oxford in 1958. He is a digital artist and a sculptor. He is best known for his portraits that reduces the subject to the essential lines and color plans. Now, let's see what we need to do the exercise for today. We will need an A4 white paper, a photo of ourselves printed on an A4 sheet of paper, a tracing paper, colored paper, marker, glue, scissors and paints. First, place the tracing paper over our image. We can either put paper clips over here to prevent the tracing paper from moving around or even better we can use a clipboard to fix the papers together. Then with the pencil we will go over the outline, the essential outlines of the face, the ears, the hair and try to be as precise and as exact as possible. The eyes, you can just make the top line and the circle. The eyebrows, the hairline, details of the ears. The nose can be just the holes. There you are. Okay. Next, on the back of our tracing paper, we will make some pencil marks over the outline. And we're going to now copy, carbon copy, this image onto our white sheet of paper. Remember to use a 2B pencil. It is important that you use a 2B pencil because a 2B pencil leaves a lot of dark marks. It's very soft and you can easily mark the blank white paper. Okay? Once you're happy that you have covered all the outlines, you can turn around, place it over the blank sheet of paper, clip it again on the clipboard and go over the outline again with the pencil so that you make a mark on the blank white paper. As I said, try to be as precise as possible. Try not to forget any important marks. And try not to get confused because sometimes the top marks can be tricky to find out when you have the scribble underneath. I hope I have covered all the marks. Let's have a look. Yes, there you are. I can see now the image right over there. Very good. Next, I now redefine the shapes 
with my black marker. There you are. Now I start painting it. We will start now coloring the face. We mixed some white with some red and a little bit of yellow to create a skin color. And we start painting the area of the face, the skin. We will now mix some yellow with a little bit of red and blue to make brown. You play around with the values and volume of colors to create the tone of brown that you want. You let it dry and you'd go over it for the second time. Once you have finished painting the hair, the face and the shirt, let the painting dry. When it dries, take the marker and go over the outline once again. There you are. Then you take the scissors and you cut around the edge. There you are. Next, we have to fix this onto our colored sheet of paper, like so. All right. Now we go over the edge once again with the marker to cover any white spots that we might have left 
like so. There you are, self-portrait in the style of Julian Opie. Hope you enjoyed this exercise. Bye bye.